there. Well, only on 12 News. As parents, we usually worry about the stranger on the street, but we like to think that our kids are safe when they're in our own living room, right? Well, unfortunately, in 2020, stranger danger has taken on a whole new look. The chances of a predator reaching your child on a screen in your home are much higher now than they've ever been. Team 12's Nicole Zymack has the video game risks that every parent needs to know about. Yeah, video games are increasingly becoming a hunting ground for child predators. As one expert put it, we aren't telling our children not to undress in front of the TV, but we should be. Conversations like this maybe popping up in the video games your child is playing right now. And so I responded, hey, and then they said, how old are you? He was uh, playing his Xbox. He came out and he told me, he said, dad, I got a weird message. 12-year-old Mikey got his dad right away. Times have changed from when I grew up. A father who also happens to be a Scottsdale police officer. I never thought that someone would come through my TV, come through my internet, try to grab a hold of my kid. But that's not always the case. It suddenly gave predators this chance to have a cloak of anonymity. Online gaming is giving predators easy access. To be able to portray themselves in any age bracket, but then suddenly to have direct access to our children where, quite frankly, oftentimes parents are not monitoring those circumstances. Maricopa County Sheriff Paul Penzone says cases of internet crimes against children are quickly growing and a top priority for his office. So our detectives always have to try to be a step ahead and be as creative and as innovative in their methods to try to catch these predators. And from police departments across the valley, in Phoenix, police received more than 4,000 cyber tips from the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children in 2019 alone. It could be six years old, it could be 16. Sexual predators will often start in the chat feature of video games and gradually build trust. Mikey gets messages periodically. Like once a month probably. And then asking personal questions like how old are you, what's your name? And then they say, oh, if you want to come watch me and play with me, you can look up this website. The goal? Dupe children into sending explicit photos or try to meet them in person in exchange for gifts or video game currency. And they enticed a young child with you know cards and credits for the video, which then turned into that child turning over they could picture themselves for child porn. You can't undo that. These are actual messages sent by Spencer Steckman to a 12-year-old boy in Anthem. Steckman met the boy on PlayStation 4 and lured him into setting nude photos, even asking him to recruit other boys in exchange for gift cards. He's now serving time in federal prison. But Penzone says many more criminals are out there. The 12 News I team reviewed hundreds of child exploitation charges in Maricopa County in 2019, finding case after case of adults convincing children to send explicit pictures and in the worst cases, meeting them in person. You can't have the, the belief or the naivety that just because your child is in your home on a video game five feet away from you, that they're safe from the dangers of a predator. Quite frankly, they're probably more exposed than they've ever been before. And when it comes to advice for parents, 12-year-old Mikey is the expert. Is there any way to like, turn off notifications? No, not really. So tell your kids to take Mikey's advice. Don't give out any personal information about yourself. Like, ask them occasionally to check uh, their messages. And what's so upsetting is that the kind of contacts Mikey is getting wouldn't usually be reported to law enforcement. So it's difficult to track these cases. And also, parents keep in mind that predators can contact children on social media, on iPads, and all sorts of apps. If someone does reach out to your child or teen, report it. Nicole Zymek, 12 News. That is so mm, yes. scary. It is so it's scary. Terrifying. It is. My kids play this popular game called Roblox, and I've got the settings pretty high. And it's, what's really cool is if someone tries to say, where do you live? When my kid sees it, all they see is hashtag, hashtag, hashtag. Oh, that's oh, interesting. It recognizes yeah, that's it. It recognizes it. Mm -hmm. yeah, or more if, video games should have that exactly. feature. Wow. Yeah. That's really good. Oh. Yeah.